Okay, how you doing? Welcome to another chapter of Timber Frame She Shed. Yes, and what we have for the main beams in here, take a look. Take a look at these. They're 29, 29 feet long, cut out of one full round log, cut them out with a chainsaw, level guided chainsaw, cut them out. It was quite a deal. And the price was right. They were 50 bucks. It was 50 bucks for the whole tree because it was so big. Nobody wanted to haul it away. So I cut it right on the site. But we have a dilemma. They're 29 feet long. And the way that this mill was made, this sawmill, which 35 years ago when I made this mill, it sat, it sat in the middle of a building that had an overhead crane. I could just pick stuff up. 30 feet long, 35 feet long, set it on the deck and cut it. But then they got, we sold that place, moved it, moved to another spot. And then it was sitting out in a field <laughs> and could load it from the front side with a tractor, you know, for doing log home stuff. Cause I had, that's why we built it to cut it that long. Anyhow, once we moved here, we had moved into, when we, by the time we built this building, we had moved into working with cedar. And it's generally shorter stuff, 12, 14, 16 feet, or on some of the stuff we could maneuver with the swing arm hoist, this thing right here, this thing that swings to the side and we can pick it up in the middle. Because in the middle of this mill, or in the middle of this building, we have an overhead crane, overhead. The thing is good for, 6,000 pounds, three tons. <laughs> I've never had that much on it. <laughs> but at any rate, it, it's good for three tons, 6,000 pounds. So we can pick stuff up and move it and then pick it up with the swing arm and get it in and set it on the saw deck. And it was kind of awkward sometimes, but it still worked. And it had a limit of 27 feet. That's all I could get through the doors, maneuvering it around. And cedar weighs just a fraction of what either Norway pine or white pine or help us all, what oak weighs. So the dilemma is these 29 foot long beams, they're really heavy. And I don't dare pick them up, they won't work. I can't get them in because they're too long. So if you see here, look at this track. This is, uh, what, this little trolley is a two-ton, I think, as far as the trolley, you know. Uh, and I can get 30 feet uh, pretty easy to cut. I mean, you see the saw way down there? Way down there. Okay, I can cut as it is right here. I can cut 30 feet long if I get this junk out of the way. I can cut 30 feet long <laughs> if I can get it on the mill. So, that's the dilemma. The solution that we're going towards that I think that we can do, I'm quite sure we can, is if if you see right above me here, you see this tube, this orange thing? It is one piece, 40 feet long, and it's got the, the tracks bolted to it. The, they're two and a half by two and a half, three eighths wall angle iron to go the whole length of it, but it stops right here <laughs> it's it's to get something from out there into here is a real pain in the glutamus maximus so the solution i think is i picked up another piece of you know, this tube this is 10 10 by 10 3 8 wall thickness with the two angle irons bolted to it 40 feet long and then the guide, other guide is right here. The sawmill tracks hangs on that beam. It tracks on this I beam down here. So it's extremely accurate and 40 feet long. And to get stuff in through the door, rather than take it in through the middle, where I have a limit, 27 feet, that's max, and maybe 800 pounds on there. That's about all I dare put on it like that. If I continue this right out the door, 
How far out the door do I have to go? Right about to where you're standing. <laughs> right about there <laughs> where you're standing. Where the camera is, okay? Right where the camera is. If I go out from here, eight feet, and add that on with the tracks, with the stuff, I'll have to cut a whole hole in the end. And this stuff that's up above me here, all this stuff, I got to move that out so I can get in. And uh, we have what holds this thing up is every eight feet down the line, there's this beam on the ceiling, every eight feet. And it goes to, there's, there's one, there's one right above here and here that goes across. And then there's one right here that goes across and every eight feet, all the way down, there's one of those beams, monster thing. <laughs> just the beams cost me a thousand bucks when I, just to buy the steel years ago when we put it in there, when steel was cheap, like 20 cents a pound, 25 cents. Anyhow, I have one more beam right there. If I take and weld that tube, arrange it, weld it here, and run it out there, I'll probably put a little roof thing over the top, something, you know, to protect it. But I can f fasten it there. It'll weld here. It'll cantilever outside four feet. And this, I will get one more of these fitted to the track so I can pick something up, you know. It'll have a loop that goes around and I can get it so and bring it up there to the thing and hold it up there with the skid steer and put it on there and then hook it and then bring the skid steer around and push it right down. <laughs> send it on down. Send it on down the line and just set it into place. <laughs> Hopefully. It's not something you do a dozen times every day. It's something you do, you know, three or four times once or twice a year, okay? But I think this will make it, this will make it work without spending a lot of money. Like to spend, a, how much have I spent so far on it? Maybe 200 bucks for the steel. They were drops, okay? They were drops, so this is where we're starting and this is where we're going to fix a dilemma and get those 29 foot beams in on the deck so I can finish dressing them up for the she shed.